Yo, what's going on everybody? It's Chris Duncan here in Austin, Texas. Today, we're gonna be reviewing the Atoll Stand Up Paddle Board. In my opinion, this is by far the best board in the paddle boarding game. If you're in the market for an amazing board, this is the video you have to watch. So let's get into it. Alright guys, first things first, I did not just get this paddleboard a week ago and now I'm already making a review on it. Actually, I've had this paddleboard over a year. I liked it so much, I now own two of their boards, okay? And I've been fortunate enough to be able to take this paddleboard to some really cool places and do some really cool things that I would not have been able to do without this paddleboard. For example, I took it to the Statue of Liberty. I packed it in the backpack, took it on a plane, and pumped it up at the Statue of Liberty. What a great way to experience the Statue of Liberty paddling around it. And I ended up getting picked up by the cops because I was too close, but I mean, that even adds more to the story. I love that. I've been to Big Bend National Park, South Texas on the Mexican border. We got Mexico on the left, the Rio Grande, and then America on the right. And we're just in these beautiful canyons, going places and doing things that we would not have been able to do without this board. And I live here in Austin, Texas, where we have this amazing lake that runs through downtown called Lady Bird Lake. I'm on that lake all the time, just paddling around, having a good time, unwinding, and just loving life. Side note, if you have a date and you really want to impress them, take them out on the lake at night, one paddle board, okay? City lights are reflecting off the water. It's amazing, you'll thank me later. All right guys, that's enough fluff. Let's go ahead and get into the review. I wanna get you fully educated on this board, but along the way, you're probably gonna learn a lot about paddle boards in general, so let's go. So we're gonna be covering five aspects I think are crucial to any stand-up paddle board. Looks, functionality, portability, durability, and stability. Looks is pretty self-explanatory, but the reason I think it's important is because you need a board that you can be proud of. The more proud you are of something, the more you're gonna use it, the more epic experiences you're gonna have with it. If you have something you're not proud of, you're kind of embarrassed of, you're not gonna use it as much. So make sure you have something that's sharp, good looking, and that you can be proud of. So the first thing I love about the design of this paddle board is how simple and sharp the design is. They're not doing anything too crazy with the designs. It's almost like an Apple computer where they're just keeping it simple and they're keeping it sharp and that's what makes it look so good. Then check out this logo right here. It's so sick, a bison on a paddle board. I've got so many compliments just by having this logo on this paddle board. It's insane. This logo is definitely the Nike check of paddle boards. It's a status symbol and it definitely gives you that status of the coolest person on the water. Honestly, it's just really hard to explain until you actually see this board on the water compared to other boards. It doesn't look like it came from the dollar store and it's a premium looking board that just stands out. So what I mean by functionality is what can your board do besides just float on the water, okay? It needs to be able to do those things that allow you to have those amazing good times. For example, can it carry a cooler? How much stuff can it carry? Can you put your GoPro on it? These are all things that add to the experience of having a paddle board. So make sure you get a board that's functional and allows you to have all those good times that's possible with a very functional board. So let's talk about the carrying capacity of these boards. These are the natural bands on the front of the board and they allow you to carry so much stuff for whatever you want to get into. Here's a chair. Here's a tent. 
life jacket, backpack, and my sandals. It fits all of this stuff really easy and there's room for a lot more. So on the back of the board, Atoll included these really cool rings that allow you to customize what you carry. You can go get these bungees at the store and it allows you to carry a lot more stuff. A lot of paddleboard companies don't put these on the boards. I don't know why, so I'm really glad Atoll decided to build these into the board. Here's a small Yeti, life jacket, tent, chair, and a backpack. And you see how it's glued to the board. It's not going anywhere. And here's my big Yeti. Look how easy it fits this thing. I'm not really sure why you never need to carry a Yeti this big, but you can if you want to. And here I just put as much stuff as I had with me on this board. I even have my wagon and my camera bag on the back. And it's just pretty ridiculous how much stuff you can carry with this thing if you want to. And this is probably my favorite thing. I can get a GoPro sticky mount, stick it to the board, sticks like concrete. Now I have a GoPro, which allows me to get some of the most amazing footage, stuff like this. And I've shot most of this video with this exact setup. This is definitely the best way to take your social media game from 0 to 100 real quick. The best thing about having a super portable board is being able to get to those dope places to where you can get those epic Instagram pictures and have those once in a lifetime experiences. Like I took mine to the Statue of Liberty. You need to be able to do stuff like that. Like where would you take your board? What would you do if you could go anywhere with your board? That's how cool having a portable board is. If you're going to be carrying this thing around, it needs to be super light. So watch how light this board actually is. Yeah. Super light. So one major thing with portability is the bag that you're carrying around this paddleboard. And if you're going to be taking it on adventures, you got to have a great bag or else you're going to have rashes on your shoulders and it's just not going to be comfortable. The Atoll bag delivers just as much as the board. It's really well designed. One of my favorite things about it are these shoulder straps. Check how much padding is in these things. I mean, you could almost double these things as camping pillows. That's how soft they are. Then we have a strap right here that really keeps it from going anywhere when you're on those long hikes. And we also have one right here that I can use, but I choose not to because I think this one does a good enough job. Since you're gonna be traveling and going to the airport with this board, you need the bag to look good. Atoll has a great looking bag, check it out. It's got the branding, it's got the logo, and it's black, which means it goes with anything. So this bag holds the paddleboard, but also can tote a lot more if you want to carry more stuff. Uh, for example, a few weeks ago, I took it to the Grand Canyon. I took my paddleboard and stuff out of here, and I put my camping gear in here, plus a buddy's camping gear in here, and we hiked 27 miles down and out of the Grand Canyon. 27 miles, okay? By the time we were done, our legs were shot, but my shoulders did not have one rash on them. If I can hike the Grand Canyon with this backpack, you can take this thing anywhere. It'd be super cool to be in the middle of the lake and you know having a great time a mile from shore. You have a mountain range view and uh, the waters are freezing though and then guess what? Your board pops because it's not durable. It starts to sink like the Titanic. You gotta swim back to shore. You're probably not gonna make it though because the waters are freezing. You can't make it that far. If you did make it, you're gonna lose your phone. You're gonna lose all your valuables. It's gonna be expensive. Man, this is how important having a durable board is. We ran some tests to see how durable this board is, so check them out. The main thing in the water you need to worry about is sticks and rocks. I'm about to sharpen this stick and then stab the board. All right, here we have our sharpened stick. And now I'm about to stab the crap out of it and show you how tough this thing actually is. When are you ever gonna be hitting a stick? this hard in the water. It just broke the stick. That's how tough this thing is. And here's a sharp rock I found. Let's give it the rock test. You're never gonna be hitting a rock that hard in the water. Just because the Atoll board is an inflatable board does not mean it's not rock solid. So I have it here supported by two Yetis on each side with no support in the middle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand on it and show you how rock solid it actually is.
just because it's an inflatable board does not mean it's not rock solid. You don't want to be that one person on the water that keeps falling in the water and everybody thinks they're the most unathletic person they've ever seen. And if you can't stand up on your board, it's not your fault. I've borrowed boards in the past where I can't even stand up on them and I consider myself pretty athletic, okay? You need a board that you can stand up on because if you can't stand up on your board, how are you going to stand up paddle board? You can't. You'll be floating board or you be in the water board, whatever, you might create a new sport. So it's super important to have a stable board or else it's going to ruin your paddle board experience. So here's how stable it is. Check out this jump test. Here's a burpee test. The wobble wobble test. This is a test most boards fail, the old pistol squat test. One legged, this thing did not go anywhere. Check out these pictures right here. On the way back from the Statue of Liberty, the waves got really big all of a sudden and the wind got really strong. It was unexpected and you see these waves just crashing against the board. I'm thankful I had a stable board or else it could have got pretty ugly out there. In conclusion, this board is awesome. I couldn't really find anything wrong with it. I mean, that's why I didn't do any cons. And as you can see, I've never reviewed any product in my life. That's how much I believe in these boards. If you're thinking about getting a board, get yourself a board already. The amount of epic experiences you can have with a portable, amazing paddle board like the Atoll board is unreal. The possibilities are limitless. This board right here is legendary, the best one I've ever used. If you wanna check it out, click the link below. It's gonna take you to their website. Check out all their boards, check out the reviews, check out the color combinations, and just educate yourself, and then get you a board. Quit missing out on all these epic experiences and get to it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, and then check out that link. Get you a board, you won't regret it. I'll talk to you later, bye bye.